All right, guys. We're here at Sparkle. Sparkle. I know, let me zoom out. Oh, they have like the one, two, three, six, six point. Here's another Ford GT that they use. This is the use what they use for Alfa Romeo. Super oh, yeah, nice. I know. Oh, Lotus. And then this is for the Lotus. Nice. And then here's all the other seats. Oh, this is cool. This is very comfortable right here. Really? Oh, yeah. So we're back here at Sparkle. Oh, hi, talking friend. Oh, the talking friend wants you to go to me. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, he could smell Rambo in me. <laughs> so we're just here at the office uh, waiting to pick up our chairs and the ones that we're getting is this one right here the r333 i'm just trying out the seats again man this one's so comfy versus this one this one's comfy too but this one's more comfortable so that's cool and it's in our price range oh we just finished picking this up from sparko headquarters and wow this is how it looks like i just removed the wrap Just opening up the second box for the second chair and this is how it looks like just finish unwrapping and i just noticed there's the sparkle sign right there on the side i folded the chair and this is how it looks like from the back the bracket for the uh chairs or the seats is by planted seat bracket technology right there and then it says it right here too that um this is for the bronco 2021 and this right here is the passenger side this is the driver's side right here and then underneath it is sliding bracket and it also comes with the hardware got everything unwrapped now right now we're just trying to figure everything out we have our sparkle chair and it's laying flat and we're now looking for the holes to insert it in and we have the this is the slide oh the slider the slider i already put this and that right there so these are the tools that we're going to use to tighten it this to hold it at the bottom and then this to go on top so here's the handle just put it in like that there but we're not going to put it all the way in yet though and we put the screws already earlier from there and then now we're gonna tighten it up yeah because there's two holes here from the bottom part of the um, bra yep. um, was that slider? The, and then it's the washer. Yeah. Here, before making it super tight, um, let's try to put the other side too. Yeah. All four of them. So, she is hammering it, uh, sliding it towards me, and I am pulling the lever because it's really hard to uh, pull because it's not fully bolted on yet. after hammering it down now uh there's the place to put the screw in yeah. right there and then right there well we just finished putting in the screw hand tight mm -hmm. it's not fully tightened yet so now we're gonna do the other side we just finished putting uh hand tightening uh this part right now and now we're gonna lay this on uh flat oh we just finished gently hammering it in so it can go all the way in there remember this one has to be facing down. down down has to be facing down so this has to curve going down so now we're gonna 
put this chair and see if uh, we could fit it in the holes right there. After tightening this, is it fully tightened? It's almost, it's almost, almost, fully, tightened. almost fully tightened. Um, we had to push this down with the hammer because it's still hard to um, push it down. Yeah. So we could put this and this to here. When you're moving the chair, it's a lot easier to put it forward. Mm -hmm. And then we will uh, put the chair back. We're going to put this and we are going to bolt on the top first. Mm -hmm. And we're going to measure it to mm -hmm. see if we need to um, go more to the left or more to the right. We're not putting all the way this in because we just want to measure the, the length. So we're going to remove this again, and then we're going to fully tighten all the bolts here already. So the slider and this, we're going to fully tighten already. So we're going to remove this. We were able to fit these two bolts here from the back of the chair. Yep, so it's this, and then that down there. We had to move the, <laughs> the slider from above. Uh, Forward and backward just to make sure it fits. Yep. Now we're going to do the, the uh, this part yeah. and that part. Basically the front. Got all four of them in the chair to the bracket and, and the slider. So we're just going to... Yep. We're just going to tie it in. Yep. So basically four bolts going to the chair and then another four bolts going to the, the plate from the slider. We just completely tightened uh, the chair to the slider and we also completely tightened the slider to the bracket. Um, this was really hard because we had to make sure that everything was all evened out because if this is not even, uh, it's not going to fit. Just finished doing the passenger side now we are working on the driver's side so this is how it works and nice nice and smooth then. nice nice and smooth we did a great job yeah it's kind of getting dark already um this will be our first time also removing the chairs i guess we're just gonna use common sense i guess we have to remove this so we could remove the bolts and then we're gonna remove the wiring so we are using this tool instead of the plastic mm -hmm. blue one. Oh, oh crap that was easy oh you got it oh there it is mm, there's the bolt right there mm -hmm. and we got to do that side mm -hmm. actually using our bronco tool because mm -hmm. this is a 13 size 13 and it fits After loosening the bolts in the front, we have to move this forward. I just finished removing the bolts from there and the other bolts from there. And now we gotta uh, slide this back. Sliding it back because now we gotta remove uh, the front bolts. And we just finished removing that bolt there and finish removing the other bolt there. So now all the four bolts are out now after removing the bolts all four bolts we now have to remove the main wiring right there the one that's connected to the body and to the chair this wiring harness is a little tricky so what i did i use like this small screwdriver to like pull or to push this red thing down and now i think it just remove the the lock so we were having a hard time trying to remove this or yeah so once you pull this red tab here mm -hmm. you also need to press this black thing here oh and then that will and then you pull it cool then, uh, remove the buckle here. this buckle right yeah okay need what um 50? Yeah, size 50 right there. Yep. Yeah.
all right so we just removed it and then now we're just gonna connect this to the sparkle we'll just remove all of these pins and zip ties here we are now removing the uh, plastic piece zip tie that connects to the chair mm -hmm. and we're just trying to remove it bracket is actually bigger so we have to put what is this like a screw yeah this like a bolt. a bolt this one to go here so now we just have to tighten it yeah here you go yep right there we just finished tightening the seat belt screw right there nice and secure putting the chair bracket here is actually kind of tricky because the bolts here are long so the first one we had to like put it in sideways like that and it'll become like that this one we just gotta find an angle to put it in we got it in it was kind of tricky uh you would have to go to what the other side this way to to tilt it yeah you have to tilt it and angle it now we just gotta bolt mount it. bolt it on now we are now working on the driver's side mm -hmm. man i'm gonna miss the height I, I got shorter oh yeah when we turned on the car the airbag light is on now yeah <laughs> but the good it. thing is it it's not, uh, it's not making, beeping. making noise, no noise. When you're... Well, we finally installed the driver's side it's the same exact exact concept as the passenger side how it feels it feels really really good um it's you're really tucked uh-huh um the only problem is i'm short yeah so our seat got like an inch and a half lower lower but yeah. um we bought the spacers mm -hmm. but the spacers won't be here for a few more days yeah so what i had to do was i had to lower down our steering wheel steering. but yeah. the good news is um this chair here really makes my back straight yeah versus the uh oem chair yeah. where i could just like yeah uh -huh. hunch like that now i have no choice but to put my back straight yeah so i mean now since my back straight it makes up for the height now mm -hmm. and then when the spacers come in i i think that would be like really great your legs to my the legs. pedal oh it's cool um you know this is uh adjustable uh-huh so it's it's good cool so this just came in today these are the chair spacers well, we are unscrewing the bolt again this is how it is with normal uh height for yeah. the sparko it's too low she could still see yeah i could still see but it feels like i i cannot really see like yeah all the way all we're still using the oem screw and it still has uh space for it yeah. yeah so we're just using the half an inch because um we cannot fit the the long one we we can't fit this uh -huh. for the half an inch one this yeah for that height we would have to um drill a hole there for now we'll try to test if this will work for us yeah if it's still kind of low then we have no choice but to, to drill. drill a hole we use the 17 mm for the front so the front went one inch higher now and then the back is half an inch mm -hmm. and that's using the oem screws then for the screw on this one we use the one that we got from the uh the kit yeah from the kit yeah so the one at the back is um the back can you can show them the back mm -hmm. the back is oem yeah I got higher, um, <laughs> one inch in the front, half an inch in the back. Yeah, um, yeah you look higher. I look higher. In the door yeah. so we can yeah, see yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. you. Oh, and how's the pedal? You, you're oh, good pedal, with the pedal's perfect. Yeah, pedal's okay. perfect. Yeah. All right, we did a great job again. Yep, yeah, we did. Nice, look, nice and tight. Yeah, nice and tight. All the four bolts. Yep. High five. <laughs> so we are test driving our height our, our uh, chair height yeah and um it's back to normal now yeah we're, we're not something anymore we are not and i don't know if we mentioned but the airbag light is on 
because yeah. we removed all the wiring. The wiring, <laughs> yeah, the wiring so, harness. Uh, We're still trying to figure out what we need to do with that. So this is how I see it from my angle. So I can see the, the front of the hood now, which is great. Hey guys, so I got me their waffles with egg and sausage. Man, this looks so good. <laughs> And she got herself some toast with corned beef and egg with fruits. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> and there's there's another one here. I'm short, but I'm not that short. 